Georgia, a former republic of the Soviet Union. As the country asserted its independence in 1991, archaeologists in the south of the country uncovered some human remains. Against a backdrop of political upheaval, a young Georgian professor found himself rewriting the story of human evolution. For me, this is a detective story. I loved detective story from childhood. Daily, we are getting new evidence which will allow us to reconstruct what happened here. Dumanisi, in southern Georgia. This medieval citadel was once a vibrant city at the crossroads of Asia and Europe, perched high above the Silk Road to China. In 1983, a team of archaeologists excavating the town made an unusual discovery. A rhinoceros tooth that dated back a great deal further than medieval times. It was what a big discovery because before it, archaeologists believed that here we do have only medieval site. So since 83, it was clear that below medieval town we had a prehistoric site dated back at least one million years old. The following year, archaeologists started to find primitive stone tools, raising the tantalizing possibility that there were humans living at Dumanisi a million years ago. The search for evidence began. Over the next seven years, hundreds more stone tools and animal remains were found, but no human fossils. In 1991, 28-year-old David Lord Kibanitsa was put in charge of the Dominici dig. In 91, our team found human jaw. It was one of the last days of the excavations, and it was a very big surprise for us. It was a very good feeling, definitely. But it was something new, absolutely new. Me, personally, I understood that it's important, but how important on this scale, I could not imagine, really. The jaw was perfectly preserved, with a full set of teeth. The Domenici team estimated it to be a staggering 1.8 million years old. When David took the jaw to a conference in Frankfurt to show the world's scientific community, he was met with disbelief. The scientific community was rather skeptical after finding the first jaw. And it's understandable, because at that time, Georgian scientists had a so big reputation in the scientific world from one hand, and from the other hand, it was very hard to accept that this jaw could be dated 1.8 million years old. Most of people didn't accept it. In archaeology, age is everything. One of the many dating techniques at Dumanisi involved measuring the age of the rock above and below where the jaw was found. We have absolute date of the lava and volcanic ashes, which is around 1.8 million. And then later was formed this crust. And we know that here happened change of polarity, which happened all over the world around 1.78 million years ago. So everything below it enabled us to say this site is around 1.8 million years old. The age was so important because nobody believed that humans were able to left Africa before one million years old. But Manisi changed these ideas. David Lord Kipanitsa found himself in charge of the most talked about archaeological dig in the world. It was an opportunity that he'd been waiting for all his life. The son of a renowned archaeologist David went on his first dig at the classical site of Colchis in western Georgia, a city visited by Jason and the Argonauts. It made a profound impression at a very early age. I think I was six years old. No, I was not allowed to touch anything, but I was just observing. 
and it was a big dream, you see, to participate in discovery. My first feeling was respect, I remember, that how these people can find so beautiful things. But also it was jealousy I wanted to do myself. But slowly I saw real success of archaeology and I saw very inspired people. So it was a very good example for me how you should work and how you should move your profession.